and hello Harry Potter fans across the UK and around the world. On behalf of all of us at Warner Brothers, I'd like to thank you all for going on this remarkable journey with us. Fans like you have made Harry Potter movies the most successful film series in motion picture history. So tonight, we are truly proud to celebrate this incredible conclusion with you. It's hard to imagine a more fitting backdrop to a world premiere of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part Two than Trafalgar Square. And we thank all of the people who have helped make this monumental event possible. But let's be clear, we would not be here tonight were it not for the singular brilliance of Joe Rowling's unique creation. And, and we would not be here tonight were it not for the work of gifted and dedicated filmmakers and actors and crew who have brought these stories and characters to life, much of it filmed at Warner Brothers' own studios at Leavesden outside of London. This event is also a tribute to all of our colleagues here in the UK, back home in California, and around the world who have worked tirelessly on these films for so many years, as well as a recognition of our incredible partners, many of whom are here tonight. I do, I do, have, a, I do have a few special acknowledgments. I'd like to thank Jeff Robinov, the president of the Warner Brothers Motion Picture Group, for his invaluable contribution to the success of these films. I'd like to thank Josh Berger, who is the managing director of Warner Brothers UK, for so ably guiding all of our extensive operations here in Britain. And finally, a special thanks to my friend and colleague, Alan Horn, who has provided passionate and unwavering support for this project from the very beginning. Now, please join me in welcoming to the stage the gentleman who has guided the Harry Potter movies from the beginning, having produced all eight films, David Heyman, as well as his fellow producer for over half a decade, David Barron, and the director of our last four films, David Yates, The Davids. Thank you very much. Hi. Hello, everybody. This is bonkers. Well, thank you all for being here. And I know this is being broadcast, this is being seen in theaters around the world, having their own premieres. So the fans, you've made this possible. Thank you so much for everything. We wouldn't be here were it not for you. I'd like to echo Barry Meyer and thanks to the people he said thank you to, and a few special people I want to uh, repeat those thanks. Alan Horn, our godfather. Jeff Robinoff, Sue Kroll, Veronica Kwan Rubinek and their teams, and all who work at Warner Brothers who really looked after our films and took care of them in the way we would in, in the most amazing way. Working on Harry Potter, there are around 3,000 people who are part of the crew who are the unsung heroes of these films. And over the course of the 10 years, and eight films became a family. So a huge thank you to each and every one of you. These films are yours. Our cast, young and old, Britain's finest, the world's finest, thank you for being a part of Harry Potter. One of the great pleasures of working on the films has of course been seeing 
and I, you know, people ask the question, what's it like? How have they changed? Dan, Rupert, and Emma grow up. And they've, the amazing thing there is that they've remained very much the same people they were when I first met them. Still humble, still enthusiastic, still generous. Thank you for that. And for being, having the way they've really grown into, they've really grown into wonderful young people as well as wonderful young actors. Our, our screenwriter, Steve Clovis. We, we are so pleased he's here today. Steve, thank you for your passion, for your care, and for the brilliance with which you took Joe's words and brought them to cinematic life. Thank you. We've had the privilege of working with four great directors, Chris Columbus, Alfonso Cuaron, Mike Newell, and last and most certainly not least, the person, our anchor, the person who took us to the end and really has pushed the franchise, pushed the series in unimaginable and unforeseeable ways, whose brilliant vision you will see very soon in theaters, David Yates. And then, by the way, aren't these two ladies' dresses rather wonderful? <laughs> so, um, uh, Joe, th thank you for making glasses, spectacles, and red hair really cool. Thank you for encouraging a generation of people to read. Thank you for allowing us to make films from your books. Thank you for your support and for your friendship and for your brilliance and for helping make these past 10 years more more absolutely unforgettable. On a personal note, I want to thank my, my family, my wife, Rose, Hector, Florence, Olive, Roby, and Harper for making this the most memorable decade of all. Thank you. And now I want to bring to the microphone my fellow producer and one of the great gifts of Harry Potter are the friendships you've, we've made. And David Yates, David Barron, is not only a brilliant producer, but he's a great, great friend. David Barron, thank you for everything. Well, I'm often the third D of the three Ds, which leaves me less to say than if I was the first or the second. Today I'm the second, but David Heyman has said virtually everything I would have said, which is a huge thank you to everybody, to Joe, to Steve Clovis, uh, to our wonderful cast, our wonderful directors, our wonderful crew. Uh, I would just like to add my huge, huge admiration for these massive crowd of people who've been here to this incredible weather today. Um, without you, the films are worthless, so thank you so much for being here, for your continued support. Uh, and I too would like to thank my wife, <laughs> my wife Sheila, for allowing me to spend, uh, or putting up with me, spending more time with Harry than I've spent with her for years now. Uh, so thank you, Sheila, and thank you, everybody. Thank you, David Heyman. Thank you, David Yates. Guys, I just want to say something very briefly. Today we're here for a celebration. And it's a, it's a celebration of a 10-year story, basically. And tonight that story ends. And, and you followed it so beautifully. And we're grateful for you following it in such a beautiful way. And thank you for that. And Joe, you've changed my life. You've given me such a great opportunity. You've changed the lives of everyone on this stage. So thank you for your gift of this material to the world. And thank you for this gift to us as filmmakers. It's been a huge privilege working with us.